was invented to be birth control. In the 1960s, BPA was invented. And BPA is a chemical. It's not a plastic sort, it's a chemical. And it was invented first to serve as birth control. You can Google this, right? And let me, let me ask you a question. What is on your bottle? Is your bottle BPA free? And, you're, and, and some people are going to say yes, right? Yes, it is BPA free. But I'm going to tell you that all kinds of plastic bottles, especially like those that, are, that, that you can like squish together, especially those have BPA in it, 100% guaranteed, or a chemical that's even worse than BPA. So you're literally consuming birth control because the bottle you have when it gets warmed up like by the sun or something, then you're, you're, you're or simply by humidity and by um, or humidity is, I think, the word or by by simple outside temperature. There gets the BPA into the water. And you will think, what the fuck? There's birth control in my water, yes, but it goes further than that. You see, a lot of women take the pill these days to have sex before marriage without a condom because it feels better. Literally fucking Satanistic. Literally Satanistic. Against the Lord that told us, when you have sex, you will conceive life. It's a gift from the Lord. It's a gift. And people do it because you want to feel good. And then they take the pill. And you know what happens? Women take the pill and they pee into the water, right? They pee into the toilet and then they flush the toilet. And then the water from that toilet that is infected with that birth control gets into the water system and we can't filter it out. Because filtering large amounts of water through hormone filters would take decades, decades, literally fucking decades Everyone who has a water filter at home, your water will run a little bit slower. And with the water you need in your household, obviously, it's not as big of a problem. But if you want to clear a whole city of that literally infected water, you would need water filters that we can't build right now or that cost so much that the government either doesn't want to afford them AKA wants the money rather for themselves as for the people. Or they really can't afford it because they don't have enough money. And then that birth control, literally birth control, is what you fucking drink, is what you prepare food with, is what you give your little children, is what you give your pregnant wife. Why are there so many miscarriages since there was tab water invented in this way in this recycling system? Why? Ask yourself, when did the, when did the rates of miscarriages go up when radiation was a thing, right? When we started digging deeper into the earth and we started and when we started like discovering new chemicals and new new fucking rocks like uranium and strontium and all these things that are that are literally fucking radiation right and those are the things we are exposing ourselves to your phone in your pocket will kill your baby these days 5g mm. And I know we're not supposed to say this. And I know that it sounds so... "Mm, The self-improvement guy is against society. Mm." Listen. Since I have adapted the things that I'm about to tell you... I have never felt better. stop, Stop. I have felt better. I have never felt better than when I started implementing these things. And you can start implementing them too. And it makes me so angry that... That, 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 that children, literal fucking babies are dying. Picture this. You have a wife, okay? Just, just imagine it. Even if you're some kind of liberal pussy who says, I don't want a wife. I don't want children. Mm, mm, society, climate change. Mm. Shut the fuck up. Let's just say you have 
a a woman that is pregnant with your baby in it, which is not normal to say these days because of fucking, uh, fucking uh, your your wife simply gets the sperm of some other guy in inside of her, right? With with like a syringe because you're too weak to give her the proper sperm to get pregnant because you've been bioengineered to literally be infertile by plastic and by radiation. But let's just look aside that. Let's say everything goes well. Let's say you have a wife that's pregnant. And one night you hear screams from the toilet, literal screams. And you, you get to the toilet, you rush there and you see your wife and you see blood everywhere because your baby has just died. Because your woman has been drinking birth control eight months while she was pregnant and she still will have to give birth birth to the baby because it's now too late. Fuck, man. And you know why this is? I could go out on this ride right now. I, I, I had this thought in my head. Tell them why this is. And I just want to dip into it real quick because if I, because if I get started on this, oh boy, this video is going to get long. <laughs> this is all because Satan has the world and everyone in his hand because everyone is a sinner these days and repenting and asking the Lord for forgiveness which would free you from your sin is cringe these days. But let's not go down that route. Let's get into the first habit that will prevent you from being infertile, literally prevent you from that, which is sauna. Sauna is one of the most healthiest things you do. you can do. Because what sauna does is it gets toxins out of your body. You have to imagine it like this. There are toxins that if you leave them under your skin long enough and they get under your skin by way of heat and they're in, in the plastic things you wear and in the plastic like bottles you have in your hands and all of this. And imagine this. You grab a bottle of water filled with plastic. Not once a day, but like 50 times a day and you drink from that. And first of all, there will be, will be plastic particles that go down your throat and into your stomach. And that will then pr- pollute your whole system with those plastic particles. And you will also have touched that plastic. And if it's hot enough outside, then the plastic will melt a small little bit into your skin. And that's BPA or some other chemical. So they can print BPA free on that thing. Buying BPA free is as if your mother buys fat free butter, fat free milk. In that milk, I guarantee you, there is something worse. There is soy in there. There is flax in there. There's some fucking chemical that makes you taste milk. There's fucking seed flour oil in that fucking butter. Margarine is full of fucking um, vitamin. How's that vitamin called right now? It's it's omega-6. You can Google omega-6. It literally fucking makes your cancer risk go higher if you eat margarine. And it basically plugs your whole digestion system so you can't digest food properly, which is one of the reasons why why your shit is so messed up. Have you ever thought about this? How many times do you have to wipe the ass of your dog if he takes a shit? Zero times. Zero fucking times. Zero. How many times do you have to wipe? Multiple. Many. Do you think your fucking caveman ancestor, you think he fucking wiped his ass 30 times before it was a little bit clean? No. (laughs) No. Why? Because he wasn't. Because he wasn't exposed to all these things that like that 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 make your digestion literally fucked up. You can Google all of this. This is on Google. This is available to you. I have linked an episode of the Huberman Lab podcast. And I don't know if you know Andrew Huberman. He's a doctor from from the USA who interviews all kinds of literal doctors in his podcast. And he once interviewed a nutritionalist 
um, Robert Lustig, who talked about all of this. And if you listen to that, um, you will simply hear the whole truth about the, the food industry and about all these big things that are going on right now to literally endanger your testosterone production and your health. And sauna will get those toxins and those, those unhealthy fats, right? There are healthy fats and there are unhealthy fats and healthy vitamins and unhealthy vitamins, right? And healthy oils and unhealthy oils and the unhealthy oils will get out of your body because the healthy ones, they get used. The unhealthy ones pollute your body like trash pollutes your, your garbage can. Sauna is like emptying your garbage can. And many people don't do that. Many people have their whole garage full with junk. Their whole body is full with junk. And they wonder why they are infertile. The average American in 2024, study done. There is a study. I'll maybe link it in the description. On average, eats the amount of plastic that one credit card has. So every year, imagine a day in the year, right? Credit card day or something where you get served a credit card on a tablet and you have to eat that. This is how much plastic the average American consumes in 2024. And you know that this is not healthy and you know what to do. Put your phone on, on fucking on airplane mode. My phone right now, I use it as a microphone in my videos. It is on airplane mode if my camera will focus. It is always on fucking on, on airplane mode because I'm fucking scared of the radiation, of the literal radiation that my phone is giving me. It's right next to my balls. And I could get way deeper than this. By the way, did you know that in vaccines, there are like heavy metals that stop radiation from passing simply through you and that make radiation stick to them? Did you know that? Yes, that is, that is real. Google it. You maybe not find it on the first try, but on the second and third link, you will see it. And no one wants to know you this, Right? No one wants you with high testosterone because high testosterone makes you become uncontrollable. Yesterday, I saw a tree in the forest and I pushed that tree over. I will show the video right now. And you will, you will think, well, that's, that's not normal. Hmm. Listen, 100 years ago, that was normal. But now it's frowned upon and now it's, now it's vandalism. You destroyed a tree. Oh my God, hmm. the tree was dead. I just pushed it over. <laughs> I saved you some work. <laughs> Listen, this is what testosterone does for you. It makes you uncontrollable and they don't want you to be uncontrollable. They want you to watch the news and read the newspaper and buy some nice clothes and go out once in a week. Ask your best buddy, your best NPC buddy, as I like to call them. Ask him what he's doing next week. And ask another guy what he's doing next week. They are all going to tell some form of the same thing. Five days a week, do what I have to do. Two days, do what I want to do. Why? Why don't people get this? Why aren't you pissed off that only for two days you get to live life? And the rest of the time you have to sit in your fucking... You sit with your COVID coworkers with bad posture that fucking kills you. In 20 years time, you will have to go through to, to, uh, to a physicist or to, uh, to physiotherapy to get your neck checked up again because you're always sitting like this. You have to look into the computer. Your work is killing you. Have you ever wondered why the PCs are standing below the desk and not above it? So the radiation can get on your balls so your testosterone is lowered. And you can think, oh, it, it's because of style issues. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Please, shut the fuck up. This is a problem we need to address. Young men are killing themselves because of depression, and it is because of low testosterone. High testosterone people don't kill themselves. People with good mental health don't kill themselves. People who lead a healthy, purposeful life don't kill themselves. 
People who go to the gym don't kill themselves. Some do. But let's be realistic. This may be one guy a year. How many guys are killing themselves because of depression? Thousands. Millions. I heard some fucking statistic. Every half a minute, someone kills himself. Let's wait 30 seconds into this video. Every 30 seconds of this video, someone fucking killed himself. Some guy who could have became who could have become great, who had a purpose bestowed upon him by God, his Lord, and he killed himself because of this shit we're talking about right now. Because he's infertile, or because his dick doesn't work, or some fucking thing. Society made it cringe to help yourself. Society made self-improvement cringe. They made God cringe. They told you, throw your Bible in the bin. They make jokes about Jesus, which is an eternal sin. They poison people. They kill children. They enslave you for five days of seven days a week. Who told you that the week has seven days? Who the fuck told you this shit? Who told you the week has seven days and five of those days you have to go to work? Hmm? Who told you this? The news, your father, someone told you this. You didn't think to yourself, oh yeah, let's work five days a week in a job that I fucking hate, that makes me suicidal and low testosterone, that destroys my life quality. And only two days I'm going to spend with my children and I'm going to spend on my purpose and with my wife and with the things that God gave me. Blessed be he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will stretch out my hand and destroy those who try to poison and kill my brothers so that they may know that he who sent me is the Lord. And when I have put my vengeance upon them, they will know that God is real. I want you to take this seriously. This is not just go to the sauna. I wanted to make a little cute video about go to the sauna, train with a hoodie on and, and wear a cotton shirt on below your, below your hoodie and wear a cotton um, base layer below your plastic clothing if you, if you only have that and, and tell your family this and don't drink seed oils and don't touch receipts and do all these things. But this isn't some kind of fucking hippie shit. You can still do all the things that I just told you. And in fact, I want you to do them. But this is something way bigger this is something that literally Satan has put upon this world. So please take this seriously. Tell this to everyone who has done this. For as I just said, blessed is he who shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper. And I want you to be your brother's keeper. And the best way to do that and the fastest way to do that is by, by pushing this video for the algorithm. You see, I'm a stupid caveman. I push over trees in the forest. I don't know how the fucking algorithm of YouTube works. I just know that I need to scream at a camera for 20 minutes straight to invoke some hope in you and some motivation. And so you can do anything that you think would boost the algorithm for this video. So a younger self of you can know the things you found out today. So think about the way you found this podcast or this, this video. And simply, simply put it out in that same way. If someone sent you the video, send it to someone else. If you got this video recommended, boost it for the algorithm. Write a comment, like it, subscribe. I don't know. My interest is that you grow through this. Master your mind and may the Lord your God, Jesus Christ, protect you.